everybody, it's Heather, and I am here with something different, something new. It is going to be a process of a card that I made. Um, I'm showing you the supplies that I'm using. I used a Gorgeous Girl stamp, and um, I stamped that out in Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I have, I started with Copics. Um, like collecting Copic markers and most of the ones that I have are the chow markers they're a little bit cheaper and um, then they're just so expensive um, so I recently I think in January sometime I got a whole bunch of the Spectrum Noir markers um, they were on sale at Joann's I think and I picked them up there, and I've been playing with them, and by no means am I a professional at this. I do this for fun, and it, I, you know, I'm not the best at it, but I do try. <laughs> um, so for the skin, I'm using Copics, because I have the skin color that I like in the Copics, and um, I don't really have that many um, skin colors, and actually I don't think I have any skin colors in the Spectrum Noir, so... I start from lightest and build up to the darkest color, and I use three colors. The colors that I use for the skin are E000, E00, and E21. And then for the blush on her cheeks, um, I used R20, and that's also a Copic. And so now for her hair, you will see... Um, that I have one Copic in this mixture here, and the rest of them are Spectrum Noirs. Um, this one that I'm using right now, I'm going to do like a red hair. And sorry, but my iPad would not let me like zoom in on this image. Um, so hopefully I can try to figure that out. But anyways, the color that I'm using right now is R39 Garnet. It's a really deep, dark red, and that's the lightest color that I'm using. So um, I just kind of feather it out, and you can see where the highlight is going to be on her hair. So I just feather um, from the darkest on out to the highlight. And then it's a flicking motion. You don't, I mean, some people do uh, saturate the whole thing when they do hair, but I use a flicking motion. And so... The, <clears throat> excuse me, the colors that I'm using um, with the Garnet Red are TN8 and DR7. And I just go back and forth. I go from the lightest color to the darkest, and then I go back up. So darkest back to lightest until it's all filled in. Right here, I'll fill in that highlight with the lightest color. And um, it just, it's a really pretty red, which you really, I don't even know if you can tell very well in this video, um, but it really is a really pretty red color. Um, if you guys would like to see a better um, image of it, I have a picture on my Instagram. I will leave my Instagram link below and... Um, I, I post pictures of all my projects and kind of like behind the scenes of my um, craft room and things that I'm doing. Sometimes I don't post videos, but I do post pictures to my Instagram of things that I'm working on. So if you guys would like to head over there to my Instagram and follow me, then you guys will see um, all the things that I work on, um, even when I don't do videos. And you'll also see close-ups and pictures of my projects. Um... The colors that I'm using for her um, clothing are BT1, BT2, and BT4. And these are all Spectrum Noir markers. And again, I go from lightest to darkest. Um, I did light all over the whole dress and the bow. And then shaded with the next darkest color. And then shaded just a tad bit with the darkest color. Um, and then I go over it all again with the lightest color to blend them. And this is, I've been playing with these markers and I've been doing Copics for a while. But like I said, I'm not a professional. I've never had a class. Um, 
So who knows if I'm doing it right, but I like the way it turns out. And this image is super cute. And I have, um, I think three gorgeous girl stamps and I just absolutely love them. I don't know what is going on with the, the lighting in my room, but, um, I think it's the sun. My, uh, room is right beside a window and the sun kept going behind clouds, I believe. So I apologize for the crazy, um, light. <laughs> I was trying to get natural light in here, but it looks like it kind of went crazy. Um, so now I'm going in with that darkest color, which is BT4 and just doing a tad bit of shading. Um, and then I'm going to go back over that with Oh, no, nope, this is the BT2. I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, so I'm just going to go back and forth until I get the color exactly the way I like it. So now I'm going over the whole image with the BT1. And I just use circle, circular motions and saturate the paper. Um, I don't do, like, harsh lines, so I don't swipe it. Um, I do circular motions. And I use the bullet, the bullet nub, bullet, bullet tip. I don't know what they call it nib. <laughs> um, I don't have any brush nibs in my Spectrum Nora markers because like I said, I just bought them and I, you know, I don't want to invest more money in them. Um, I just, I, I like them the way they are. They're fine. They, I mean, you know, like I said, I'm not a professional. These, um, cards that I make are for friends and family. So I think they look great. <laughs> um, and so now You'll see I'm back. <laughs> I just fussy cut around her. And I also use a, bl a black marker. Um, it's a memento black marker. And I go around the outside of the edge of her, all around the whole image, just to make sure that there's no like white lines. I'm showing you the stamps that I used. Um, for the heart, um, shoot, not for the hearts, <laughs> for the clouds and the sun, I used, um, what is that one? Hampton Art Doodlebug Design, and it is, I don't know, it doesn't have a name. Oh, it's called Welcome Home, and it has a die set and stamp set, and then for the Hello Friend, it's a Kaiser Craft Shine Bright stamp set, and, um, for the little hills in the background, I used the Lawn Fawn Stitched Hills, or Hillside Dyes. And I'm going to pop her up on some pop dots. A lot of pop dots. <laughs> and, um, oh my god, I used so many. How crazy. That's a lot of pop dots on this little thing. I don't use any on her little feet. I'm going to glue her little feet down to kind of make it look like she's actually standing on something, um, standing on the ground, because I felt like if I popped her all up, she would look funny, like her feet were floating in the air. I don't know. I'm weird. So, <laughs> it takes me a minute to get all of these little uh, backs off of the pop dots. They are, they stick to my fingers, like they're staticky, and so... It's hard to get, get them off my fingers. It's harder to get them off my fingers than it is the actual dot. And let me know if you guys liked this video um, in the comments below. If you guys would like to see more coloring videos. Um, I enjoy doing it. So if you guys would like to see you know videos like this, just let me know in the comments. And um, I'll do more videos like this. Obviously, I'm going to stay with doing my process videos for the layouts because that's what I really, really enjoy doing. Um, but every once in a while, I would love to post um, card making videos, Copic and Spectrum Noir coloring videos. Um, so just let me know in the comments. really do appreciate your all's feedback and such sweet comments. And I really do appreciate all of my subscribers. And thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Um, I really do appreciate it. So these little enamel hearts are adorable, right? Um, I picked the red ones because her hair's red. I picked the red ones and they have glitter in them. They're super cute. I got them from Michaels and they were in 
uh, the dollar fifty spot, I think, like the little um, bins. I think that's where they were. Not for sure, but I got them in January as well. Um, so I'm just kind of placing them around, kind of like come on up. <laughs> And then I'm going to place a stamp in the inside, and I'm using um, a Hero Arts stamp set there. And the one I'm going to use is um, Thank You For Your Friendship. And I'm going to use the same blue ink that I used on the Hello Friend on the front of the card. And it is American Crafts Pigment Ink. It doesn't have a name on it, so I'm not sure of the name, but it's a real light blue. It's really pretty, and it stamps very well. And then that is going to be it, you guys. I really do appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for stopping by to watch this video. Give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it, and let me know in the comments if you liked it. Thanks for watching. Bye.